Hi, welcome to Stringers World. Here we're going to look at the new Yonex E-Zone XI 98, and as the name implies, it's got a 98 square inch head, 1619 string pattern, a weight of 310 grams, and a balance of 310 millimeters. Um, the E-Zone range have now been added in, has now added in a few extra technologies: an SD grid, a shock dampening grid, and a handle for added stability and power. Um, an improved OPS shaft, which is oval press shaft. In, in the throat of the racket, making it slightly thicker in the, in the frame and slightly more round on the edges, gives it a bit more more flexibility, uh, sorry, more stiffness and therefore more power. They've also strengthened up the four corners of the racket, um, adding some more power, uh, extra power on on all three added new technologies. Um, when serving this racket, I found that this was my favourite racket to serve without the new E Zone range. It really lets go on all sp all spins, flat serves, a lot of weight to transfer through the ball. Um, I really found that my serves were, were much more powerful and harder to cope with um, when playing with this racket. Um, and then hitting from the baseline, um, it was it was much the same as with any um, slightly heavier racket. The ball coming off of it is far heavier. Um, I really enjoyed this from the baseline, creating different types of spin and pace on to, to all other sides of the court. Um, let's see what Dan thought about the baseline and then moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a welcome addition to the E-Zone lineup because uh, before they were all quite light and they're, they're all quite thick beamed. Now this with a thinner beam, uh, although it's the same range of racket, you can really tell this is a much more players oriented racket. It feels a lot more solid when you hit the ball, a lot lots more solid on impact and uh, Ben was saying it was harder to deal with the shots from the serves and it really really was compared to the other rackets in this range. It is of course the trade off to that it's harder to use than the other rackets in this range but uh, by no means an unforgiving racket. Um, enjoyed it from the back of the court, nice big open string pattern, um, enjoyed using it particularly with a soft poly, um, gave me a lot more spin and really a lot of power on this racket. Um, also enjoyed transitioning with it coming to the net and hitting some volleys because again the solidity at the net was really really noticeable in comparison to the other rackets but again you need a better much better technique than you do than with the other rackets and as for a recommendation i really feel this would be a good for um, an, an advanced junior moving up through very through top players as, you, as, it, as with all the other range um, you can easily add weight to them they've got lots of flat edges where the, where the weight will stick on fine um, so another racket from the E-Zone range that is very versatile, however this is probably for the better range of the players out of the rackets, um, as you are going to get what, what out of it what you put into it. Um, overall, we've enjoyed this racket and um, thanks for watching and check us out on Twitter at Stringers World.